Hello ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm going to install ML Agents Release 13 on my Windows 10 laptop and I'm just recording it so you can see how to do it too. First thing I have to do is go to download the ML Agents code from GitHub. So let me just do a search for ML Agents download and that should bring me to the github.com here where it's the ML Agents code. This is a path if you want it. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom and then it has all the different releases. So Release 14 is the latest, but it says here it's unstable, so let me go to Release 13 and use that one. I'm going to click Download, and when I download it, I'm just going to download it to, uh, let me put it over here. Here's my Unity work, and these are my reusable assets. I'll download it here to this folder. So let's just take off that one. This is Release 13, and save. You can see I've done Release 8 before. So I'm going to download that, give it a moment. Okay, once it downloads, let me just go there and let me unzip it. So I got 7-zip and I'll just extract it to a folder of the same name. So this is just me getting the code. Now I don't need the zip file anymore. So what's in this folder? This is what's in this folder. And of particular interest is ML Agents, ML Agents Environments, and the project. These are Unity projects that are using ML Agents. So now after that, um, I actually have some instructions here. So I downloaded the ML Agents from GitHub. Now I'm going to use a tool called Anaconda so that I could work with Python on my Windows 10 computer. So let me download Anaconda. Okay. And here we have the individual edition, anaconda.com. Let's go here. And this is the website. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it has the installs for different systems. Here's Windows. So I picked this one, the 64-bit graphical installer. And I run that install. And what I'll have is Anaconda on my system. So now I'm going to start up Anaconda Navigator, which would be right over here, Anaconda Navigator, and I get this. So it starts off on the home, but here I can click on Environments, and I want to create an environment for my ML Agents Release 13. So I'll press Create, and I'll give it a name, ML Agents, um, and I'll just say 13 for Release 13. And I'll say Create, and I'll let it create the environment. So that doesn't take too long. Now I have my ML Agents environment, and the next thing I want to do is open up a terminal. So here, I'll just click on ML Agents, and I'll click on this little play button, and I'll select Open Terminal. So I'm going to open the terminal so I can finish setting up ML Agents, okay? So right now the path, well, I could close the navigator now that I have my terminal open. Right now the path is set to this, but I want to change the path. So I did have it to, this is where I installed the ML Agents Release 13 and unzipped the code. So this is the path I want. So let me just copy that. And then over here, I'll just run a change directory command, CD, and then I'll press Control-V to paste in the path and press Enter. So now I have ML Agents 13 environment running and I have it in the path of my source code for ML Agents. Now I could run some commands to have it install stuff. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna install the ML Agents, install slash E ML Agents and press Enter. And it's gonna take a moment to install it. You can see it scrolling down here, installing everything. I'll just let it do that. And then within a moment, that installed. Okay, the second thing I want to install is the ML Agents environment. Okay, pip install slash the ML Agents environment, enter. And it comes up red. ML Agents environment is not a valid editable requirement. Should either be a path to a local project or a VCS URL. All right, let me check and see what it is. ML Agents envs. Oh, I just typed it wrong. See, if I type, I didn't put the S. <laughs> Everything's about typing the thing right. Install dash E ML agents ENVS. I forgot the S, and now that, that works, okay? So successfully installed that. So now those are both installed with a little bit of spelling problems. Put the S there, for goodness sakes. And now I could see if everything's installed and set up right. I could just type in a command ML agent learn, which this would start the um, ML agent thing listening on a port. So if this ML agents learn, ML agents, you know, that's the problem with command line stuff. You have to type it properly. Enter. And if everything is successful, which it isn't, I should have saw, it says a compatible version of PyTorch was not installed. All right, so we needed to install Torch. That's what that, well, that error message was. So what I'll do is I'll type pip install Torch for PyTorch and press Enter. And that installs quickly. Now I'll try again my little test, ML. Agents, learn, enter, and I hope I see the Unity logo like this, which means 
my setup is complete and my Windows Defender is blocking this, but I'll allow access. Yeah, because now um, it's listening on port 5004 and it's just waiting for me to press play in Unity on a Unity game so it could start doing the training. And here it was listening on a port and then since uh, I didn't start play, I guess the timeout happened and it stopped listening and I got back to the command line. So anyway, this is ready. My ML agents is now ready. So now I'm basically ready to create a Unity project that uses the ML agent library. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.